Hi everybody, Hybrid Spirit, welcome to my YouTube channel, Esoteric Cloud Surfer here, ready to take a ride in our Esoteric Cloud, which is a lighter, less dense and vibing on a higher frequency and vibration vehicle in comparison to your mind, emotions and body, and when your spirit jumps into that cloud, into that vehicle, it can fly, it, it can f uh, float to higher, to more expanded, more wiser, wider and wiser, and higher as in frequency and vibration, not as in physical higher, okay? Uh, spaces, realms of reality, so you can have a higher, a bird's eye view, a lighter perspective about you and your circumstances, so you can feel lighter about yourself and your circumstances as well. Before we start the video, check the link tree in the description below, my link tree and beautiful Mystaria link tree as well. We have a lot of businesses, readings, sculptures, consultations, uh, digital art, uh, we got, uh, I'm reworking my Patreon page, you can go on that. You can support the channel by leaving a like, a subscription, or by donating to my PayPal using the email in the description down below. That email can also be used for collaboration, for booking services. You can check out my Instagram, uh, my uh, SoundCloud, my gaming page, Misarius gaming page, everything is down below. Shout out to Archangel Uriel, shout out to my Pokemon Unite team, Unique Stars, and shout out to the whole Soul Group, and to everybody out there, changing the world right now as well. So, happy Sunday in Aries. It's the 20th, no, it's the 16th degree of Aries, no, it's the 20th degree of Aries season. So we are entering the last decan of Aries season, season, which is the Sagittarius decan. So, ah, by the way, this is a week ahead, astrological preview of this week, of this passage of the time of these weak energies that you must use in order to make you strong, right? So it will start from today, Sunday in Aries, 10th of April of 2022, according to the magic square, or 20th of the first house, 20th of Aries of the year 10, according to the new year, the new shift calendar that started in 2012, when the Mayan calendar, the world ended. Okay, all of that is an allegory to a shift in consciousness, to a shift in what we pay attention to and how we experience and share the experiences because we are basically doing the same thing, right? Riding waters, but the way we relate it, the way we express it, the way we come together to build, changed. And that's it, that's all. The shadow government is trying to make like, it's because of this, it's because of that, it's because of that. No, no, it's what we do. The only thing constant in this universe is change, right? Go ask Pluto, go ask Uranus, go ask Neptune, the great elders. They know they are almost out of this system. They are already creating bodies in another system. So they know about change and being in a different world while still remembering the past world. But that's for another video. So welcome. Let's see how what waters, what currents will we be going through and how it's the best way to, to surf them as a Terry Cloud Surfer to stay above water so we, we, you can get some fish into your bucket instead of being swimming with the fishes, all right? That's just an allegory as well. So today, Sunday in Aries with the moon in Leo. So Sunday, it's a day about paying attention to yourself, paying attention to your personal space, Good day to clean your room, to clean your house, to clean your car, to clean your... Uh, if you have a studio like me, a mystery where we paint and we create music and stuff. If, if you want, if you feel it, especially because it's sextiling Saturn, if you feel like you're gonna do... If you, if you feel like I, I must clean that creative space or your business space, go ahead and do it. The moon is in Leo, so that's a trine. So we have a gift to feel comfortable, to feel entertained and to relate with ours and others' expressions, new expressions, new actions, new feelings, new passions, new motivations, new aggression, new frustrations, and new expressions, and new actions backed and supported by all of those newness. So yeah, it's a bit unstable. It's a lot of passion, a lot of spirituality, a lot of uh, expansion and uh, pushing forward as well. And we have a gift with the Moon in Leo to be stable to be consistent or stubborn while doing all that okay then tomorrow moon day in leo with the sun in aries 
and Mercury will go into Taurus, into Tartarus, in, into hell. Because the second house and the third house, Taurus is and Gemini is the space or is the sector of our general space that has the most stars, uh, planets, spirits concentrated there. Why? Because that's the, the south node is or the south node is ruled by Gemini and the north node is ruled by um, Sagittarius and Taurus is fixed Earth. So the, the south node of our space is Gemini. So it, that means that that space, the third house, is the most comfortable, the most relatable, the most familiar. So many spirits that are afraid to change, they like to repeat things, okay? they like to be in hell, right? Because that makes so much sense, because hell is just repetition. Doing the same thing harder and harder because you think it's going it's better for you because you need to you think you need to maintain a position etc right so that zone will be the zone where most spirits that are afraid to change get stuck they get accumulated there and then Taurus being fixed Earth being the internal side of Venus it will receive a lot of those because when the third house gets full instead of going to the fourth house many of those go of those things go into the second house go into Taurus, where they get even more accumulated, they get even stronger. So Taurus has more free space, but the hell in Taurus is more condensated. The hell in uh, Gemini is more crowded and more annoying, okay? But it's hell because it's full of uh, stars, it's full of accumulation, so it's always hot, it's always destructive, so you don't have time to experience a lot, you don't, you don't have time to be wise and to be aware because you start to experience and you transform, you start to experience and you transform, so you, don't, you, you really don't have time to be fixed only in Taurus, but you get fixed into some bullshit and that's Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so you, you need to make sure your head is and what you fixate it on is always light and clear and not uh, backed and supported by insecurity and I need that desire in order to feel comfortable, okay? But Moon Day in Leo, so we'll be feeling more comfortable when people pay attention to us, when we pay attention to something that entertains us, when our expression and our individuality receives attention and receives some kind of praise. The sun will be in Aries, so we have a gift to express. Tomorrow we have a gift to express our feelings and emotions. We have a gift to create new ways to be seen as cool, as as uh, light, as relatable. We have uh, a gift to create new ways to express what makes us feel comfortable. But then Mercury goes in Taurus, so we have to learn how to make more sense, how to be more private, and how to relate in a more profitable way. What makes us feel entertained, what makes us feel praised, what makes us feel valued in our lives as well. Then you go into Mars Day, Mars Day in Aquarius, with Moon in Leo, slash Virgo, and the Sun in Aries. So, Mars Day will start with the Moon in Leo, that's an opposition, so you might feel uncomfortable, you might attract some opposition, you might attract some balance in your passion, motivation, anger, frustration, and deep desires. You might feel that the whole world around you is opposing your internal world, because Mars is your internal world, Mars is that blood, how the spirits and the bodies inside you uh, move and flow and come together to create structures, aka okay, cells and organs. So the whole world, you might feel, that might not be true, but you might feel like the whole world is opposing your internal world. And then you might be like, coming to conclusions why we should go in inside, coming to conclusions why we should separate, coming to conclusions why we should be dry and closed off. And you might be mis misinterpreting that because uh, Mars in Aquarius will be in conjuncting the Moon, so you might feel uncomfortable and unstable and unrelatable for the wrong reasons. And the Sun in Aries will just make an opportunity to express all of that flunkedness, all of that weird feelings, all of that opposition, all of that miss, missing the point type of feelings, type of emotions. You have the opportunity to express that in a passionate and aggressive way. So Mars Day, be really, really careful, chill, go into be very passionate passionate into your creativity, into doing something that doesn't involve necessarily communicating a lot because you might be communicating a lot of opposition and misunderstandings, all right? 
Then, Mercury day in Aries slash Taurus, with Moon in Virgo and Sun in Aries. So in that day, we'll be thinking and communicating how can we get more situated, more stable, more organized and business-like when it comes to our passions, motivation, aggression, frustration, when it comes to our new, creative, unique, individual ways to express our visions, the potential of something, our uniqueness, our feelings, and our spirituality. <clears throat> and with the moon in Virgo, we have, uh, we, we have a opportunity to misunderstand our gifts in that day, an opportunity to feel weird about our gifts, an opportunity to feel bad about what can be good. So an opportunity to feel and attract vessels, people, places, things and energies that we like. You need to organ you 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 take what you are doing in Aries with Mercury in Aries, you take that peace of mind and you make it more real. You make it more organized. And that, that might feel weird. It might feel like you're limiting your mind or, and your, your creativity and the expression of your individuality and spirituality. But that's the gift. Virgo and Taurus, that's the gift. But that, that might feel limiting. That might feel too real. That might feel too, uh, too less spiritual. But that's the right thing, right? And then the sun in Aries will make it... Uh, obvious in your face you can see it you you can't you can't hide from it you can't hide it from you you might throw a little bit of taurus a little bit of internal world a little bit of stubborn and consistency to try to justify you staying on that path but no you know we need to bring more reality more stability more business like more softness more uh presenting the right parts of your individuality and creativity instead of all just because okay in order to achieve that stability business profit relationships and support when it comes to your supporting your creativity support individuality and the expression of your uh, uh, spirituality as well then we jump into jupiter day in pisces with moon in virgo and a little bit of full moon in Libra and the Sun in Aries, okay? So Jupiter Day, we are expanding and traveling to our dreams, illusions, imaginations, nightmares, emotions, uh, connections, relationships, spirituality, other worlds out of this world. Moon in Virgo, we might feel the whole world does not understand our travels and our expansion. You might feel uncomfortable, you might you relating and conversating all of those la la lands might make others feel uncomfortable and then the moon goes into full moon in libra so then it might start heated catastrophic conversations that create a new way to separate create a new way to suffocate create a new way to dry up all of those waters all of those emotions all of those dreams all of those imaginations so be careful and the sun in aries will make you act very aggressive if you feel uncomfortable or if you make somebody feel uncomfortable and they start to create new ways to justify why you crazy or why you dump aka moon full moon in Libra, you and them will act very passionately and very aggressive towards that. So be careful, you might kill a dream, you might kill a relationship, you might kill a spiritual ship, you might kill somebody's mind, you might kill somebody's heart because Pisces touches everywhere, especially Jupiter, so that conversation might start lightly, might start all funny and gossipy, and then you are expanding on it and you are associating why is that that makes you feel that way, why that is killing you, uh, spiritually speaking, why that is not making you uh, uh, manifest, why that makes you a hoe, why that makes you a dumb nigga, why that makes you that, 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 and then before you know, there is a real weird feeling in the room right now. You know, so be careful with that. Venus in Pisces with full moon in Libra and Sun in Aries. So we're going to be relating to every everything, to everybody. But people will misunderstand it and they will express it in a very light, in a very 
uh, it's all okay girl in a very Venusian beautiful way but they, their intentions are full their intentions uh, are supercharged right but you can see that with the sun in Aries because it's opposing so if you're really spiritual if you're really individual if you really know what's going on within you you can see if somebody else is really creating new ways to make sense out of your La La Land relationship dreamy Pisces perspective or if they are uh, just making fun of you if they are just being superficial and not showing their true intentions you can see all of that with the sun in Aries Lastly, but not least, we have Saturn Day in Aquarius with full moon in Libra and Sun in Aries. So that's a gift, a full-on gift, a full gift of feeling comfortable in creating new ways to communicate and feel comfortable, feel a light, feel communicative around your team, around your business, around whatever you are building with right now. And with the Sun in Aries, that's an opportunity to see, to act, and to make others feel passionate or opposed to your to whatever you're going on when it comes to team constructing going higher step by step while improving and getting better with yourself and the people around you that have a, a common goal which is backed and supported by uniqueness individuality rebelliousness opposition and change Saturn in Aquarius then you, you have a gift to be feel super fulfilled or feel super unfulfilled with the moon in Libra and you have new ways to think and communicate about that and you have an opportunity to act on it 100% and even more than that. All right, guys? So keep in mind that Mercury will go into Taurus so we have to, or it will be better for you to make a bit more sense, to be a bit more relatable, to, be, uh, to construct better your spaceships when it comes to the metal realm and it should be alright. But still, do that, build that spaceship, and the, the, the things that go into the spaceship, the merchandising that you are trading is your individuality, is spirituality, is your passions and motivations, your aggressiveness, and your frustration as well, because it's still in the cusp with Aries, okay? So, drop a like and a subscription if you enjoyed the video, uh, check the link trees in the description below, book a reading with me, contact me and support the channel donating using the email down below or just go to my Patreon or go to my link tree and click on supporting supportive funds. Until the next time, I wish you love yourself and you try to love the world. Shout out to me, shout out to beautiful Missaria, shout out to the whole school group, shout out to Archangel Uriel and shout out to my Pokemon and I team, Unique Stars, we're gonna conquer the world. Till the next time, as a Cloud Surfer, searching out. Make sure you use the weak energies to make you strong. See you soon.